Well, a Houston father is facing 180 days in jail for overpaying his child support and over visiting his 11 year old son. His attorney and a community activist are now demanding answers. Randy Wallace joins us live with a story you'll see only on Fox. Randy. Don, we all expect to see judges throw the book at fathers who fail to pay child support. But a father who says he's been doing the right thing now has an arrest warrant against him. Uh, it's my responsibility to take care of it. You know, I brought him in this world. I have to. Clifford Hall says he's more than happy to pay child support for his 11 year old son. I'm his father. You know, uh, it's my responsibility to take care of it. But Hall says when the amount of child support was modified, no one told him. And I discovered that for some reason his employer was withholding a large amount some weeks, a small amount some weeks, zero amount uh, some weeks. And I didn't want to go to jail, basically. So Hall quickly paid almost three grand in back child support. When Hall and his ex-wife were in Judge Lisa Millard's court last November, he owed nothing. Opposing counsel testified twice that he's all paid up. But the attorney representing the child's mother wanted Hall to pay her three grand in attorney fees, and Judge Millard agreed. Court documents also reveal Hall wasn't following the court's scheduled times to pick up his son, another modification he says he knew nothing about. The judge ended up sentencing him to six months in jail. When she said, I sent, you know, remand you to the Harris County Jail for 180 days, my mouth just dropped. This entire situation is shocking to me. I've never seen one like this. Community activist Cornell X wants the state's judicial board to investigate. The court failed the child. The court failed Mr. Hall. The system broke down. I can't be there for my son in jail. I can't pay child support in jail. You know, this is not, this is not in the best interest of the child. Judge Lisa Millard says Hall walked out of court after he was found in contempt, which she says is a big no-no. Judge Millard also points out Hall's attorney could have filed a motion for reconsideration. She says that would have allowed her to hear both sides again and reevaluate re the situation. Hall's attorney is now working on an appeal, and in a few days, Hall plans to turn himself in, and Don will, of course, Keep everybody posted on, yeah. on how this plays out. It really is a strange situation. Very, very, very strange. I mean, it, it, it kind of shows that sometimes these things can be changed, modified. Maybe one parent doesn't know, but it's very confusing, and you've got to right. wonder how this man could go to jail for this. All right. All right, Randy Wallace, thank you. You're welcome.